How you doing YouTube? This is our first uh, video here. We're gonna take inside our custom RC trailer we've been building. All right, quick update. I guess you wanna call it an update. We got a six by 12 trailer here. We're gonna try to turn it into an RC race trailer. So it's just a black with diamond plate, you know, nothing fancy. So what it did is I went in here and I got cabinets. Just regular old cabinets from Lowe's, unfinished. I painted them. I got the dark gray sealant on the floor and light gray on the wall. So I said, to hell with it. Went ahead and painted the cabinets the same thing with a bright orange on the door just to make them pop a little bit. Now on top of that, in the way that these are situated, you've got one foot here, three feet to sit, two feet in the middle, three feet, one foot. And on top of that is a 10 foot six piece of plywood. And by, by that, I mean I actually came up here screwed them together well, on top of that just to give it a little bit of extra stability because it was kind of kind of flimsy and I don't think it's gonna go flying anywhere on the road but I went ahead and put this uh, 2 by 4 by 10 on here I uh, thinking back I should have got 12 and I should have cut it down I forgot about the extra six inches so there's three inches on each side I got self tapping screws in here that go in well no this is a wooden one this is all wood so this is wood to wood one inch screw so it's got this little lip here and then if you kind of look these bars and stuff are one inch thick so i just got one inch wood screws there and then where all of these screws these are self-tapping screws i went in here and i got a uh, plane goes overhead probably messing up what you can hear these are one inch self-tapping screws directly into the metal beam that goes up see right here so I got that and then I got one and a half inch uh, wood screws here to go through, through about the one inch here and then the the piece of plywood I got and I'm gonna just got this little track I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with it and then staple it down so all of our tools and everything got a little echo in there talk to us um, so that's pretty much where we are now next thing we're gonna do I think is right back here we're gonna drill a hole two holes actually or one big hole probably one big hole and then feed our wires we're gonna put outdoor outlets and then run that up the wall here and probably I got a little mock-up here of what it's gonna look like I'm gonna have two so I got two different circuits uh, that way 15 amps on each so your battery charging if we put an air conditioner in here one day um, you know you got fans don't want to totally kill it so we don't don't want to do anything crazy most RC tracks you go to have the the regular 15 amp outlet so we'll just run with that 20 amp whatever it is we're only gonna run 15 in here uh, so I don't know where that's gonna be either up here maybe sideways down here but I got this flex tube and I'm thinking we'll probably run the pipe this way and I got, I got regular pipe regular conduit so this will probably be like a 90 degree bend somewhere and if I can back up without falling out the damn trailer I'll probably put one right in here and then another one so right here in the middle right in here and then I want to try to figure out how to get one probably up in here because I have a big piece of plywood right there eight foot to go in this six foot gap to try to figure out how I'm gonna do that uh, and then you have basically like a like a giant L shape uh, desk and then maybe you can put somebody here or maybe you just kind of the idea is put the battery charger here if we get a little refrigerator I'll we'll go down here uh, so that's what that one that's what that circuit will be for and then the lights like even pit lights um, phone charger stuff like that will go on the other circuit that's kind of the rough idea and then we'll have to see but a buddy of mine told me that I should get a breaker box so I got the smallest one I could find at the Lowe's I went to then I went to another Lowe's and found that they make these in like a little two so I got I got I can put up to eight in here I guess we'll, f we'll find out that'll probably go in that back wall somewhere maybe kind of rest it on this lip and then drill it straight in to the pilot hole or not the pilot hole the uh, self tapping screw into the metal frame We'll see. Uh, Till next time, then we'll take a look and hopefully I'll have some of the electric done.